Welcome to Baker Dave Presents. We're here today in the kitchens in J&H at Temple University. It's a working kitchen. You might have some noises. There might be some people in the background. Today I have a very special guest. I have Coach Collins, the football coach here at Temple University, and he's brought with him his recipe for keto key lime cheesecake coming right up. Uh, welcome, Coach Collins. Yeah, How are you doing? You. I'm very Thanks excited to have you here. I love having uh, sports people here, okay. coaches and what have you, because uh, generally they don't cook too much. But you are very excited about this. I am. I'm fired up. So fired up, yeah. I'm I'm excited as well because right. uh, I've never I've never had food baked food in this way, non baked. Right. So we're doing a keto key yes. lime cheesecake. Absolutely. Yeah, key lime cheesecake. Which is super exciting. Why? What's what's with the keto? Is that your thing? Yeah, name? no. So no, I, we got it. one of our assistants is nicknamed Cake Boss because during the season he has to go get us cake two to three times a week. Holy cow! Yeah, that can't so be good. wasn't healthy during the season, <laughs> and uh, so in January the doctor said you need to cut that out. So I don't think I've had a carb in four months. Holy cow! So then I found this recipe, and I'm like, well, this way I get a little little bit of sweet into it and right. enjoy so life you, a little you bit. You actually like sweets. I live and die by them, oh, but I haven't been able to do it for the last four months. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so where where are you? You're not from here. No, I'm I from mean, I'm, I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm hearing your voice a little bit. Yeah. I'm thinking, what, Michigan? No, I'm Wisconsin? from Atlanta. I'm from, Atlanta. I'm just from Atlanta, Georgia, yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. How long have you lived up here now for the? Uh, 18 months. So 18 months. We got the months. job two Decembers ago, so been the head coach here for 18 months. So how do, you like, how do you like, I was just going to say, are you going to, I want, I want love your it. honest. I want, you know, how do you Absol actually feel? Absolutely love Philadelphia. Um, being blessed to be the head coach at Temple University. Our players are amazing. This um, is an amazing school. I'm amazing I'm kids, fan. amazing fan base. Uh, so just love everything about it. That's awesome. So uh, how's the desserts here in Philly? Since you're a dessert guy <laughs> <right now. laughs> They're good. You just go to Reading Terminal. Coach Sinagra's with me here today. Coach Sinagra and I go to Reading Terminal and the cannolis, so we got to find a way. To you make. don't get that kind of stuff no, in Atlanta, you know what I mean? I mean, they have beautiful yeah. desserts down there, don't get me wrong, but you're not getting I've them. never enjoyed a cannoli until I've moved up here, right. ever. But then we go to Reading Terminal and they're at Termini Brothers or whatever, it's just How are you eating cheese phenomenal. steaks without carbs? Cheese steak without yeah, carbs? That's like, it's meat and cheese. It's meat and cheese, take the, take the bread off and let's go. What are you go. wrapping it with? Yeah, just, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Grease. Grease is right. fine. I can't, I can't argue with that. So how... You're, you're, you have family? You have I do. married kids? I do. I've like, been married your... for, be 23 years this year, and my daughter, wow. our daughter just celebrated her second birthday. You and I are like almost the same age. Yeah. I was uh, checking that out. So okay. I've been married 21 years this yep. year, so. Yep. Got married right we're, out. We're practically the same course in our life yeah. here. You know, head coach, uh, pastry chef. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the same. It's we're both living in Philly, same, yeah. I mean. So I took, took my little 21-year-old wife to the Bronx right out of Western North Carolina. So that was a culture shock I right imagine. away when we Holy first got cow. married. And then we've had 14 moves in our 23 years of marriage. So I've been in the SEC for seven years and the ACC and all over, up okay, and down dude, the East so Coast. So exactly like yours. 14 moves. I so, can't do that, man. God bless much. her. God bless her. Wow. And and the kids, how, how old are they? She, uh, our daughter's two years old. Okay, that's yeah, awesome. She loves our players. She loves everything. I have a daughter. They're great at two. Yes. She just turned Phenomenal. 18, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> same, same phase in our lives. Two exactly. and 18 is exactly Two, the same. 18 is practically yep. the same yep. thing. I guess we should probably start making this. Let's do it. Now. Let's do it. All right, so we have to make a crust. Yes. This so, is the one time we add heat to this thing. Yep. So instead uh, of graham crackers. It's almond flour. It's almond flour. So what I thought was really cool about this, if you look at the almond flour, it's super white. Mm -hmm. It looks nothing like graham cracker right. crust. Yep. But it tastes right. We had a taste test last night preparing for this. You had, to, you had to prepare? <laughs> and one of our assistants, Gordo, was like, oh, this graham cracker is delicious. So we're about well, to, see, we're about to trick him. What I was going to say is that what's... This doesn't really sit too well. The, the two great things about uh, toasting it... There we go. Here we go. It's on. There oh, it is. Sweet. It's on. Two great things about toasting it is you're going to get that beautiful color and you're going to get a beautiful flavor. Yeah. I got a thing here if you need to spin it around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not proficient in the, what do I do? I do this. What do you mean, what do you do? There you go. recipe, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah, we're good. How many times you made this? Uh, uh, 50, 200? Sure, for this show, yes, 150 times, yes. <laughs> 
this is what you like to do in your spare time? Yeah, I look, I look very <laughs> natural at it. <laughs> We've cooked five do times. Flip? Absolutely not. No, don't do that. We'll yeah. lose the, yeah, we'll won't have enough good. stuff then. You wouldn't have I mean? any eyebrows left. Yeah. <laughs> Let me grab a bowl, because once you do. Do I look natural? I look natural with this. You look like a pro. You look like a pro. We're practically the same people. We have one of our players here working behind the camera, so. He's just, he's just looking at me like I'm an idiot, so that's you're, fine. Appreciate you're definitely that. not. Appreciate that, pal. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe you should, uh, we should do a show where I go and play football, and you can see how much of an idiot yes, I am. Yes, yes. Because clearly you would have uh, an edge on me there, right? Uh, probably. <laughs> I never play football, so you okay. definitely would. Yes, yeah, so this is better. This, <laughs> you want me to do better. it? Is that what you're saying? Yes, please. <laughs> you see that flip? I'm, I can try. I, okay. I'm not, remember I'm a baker, right? Okay. Cooks usually do that, like chefs. A little bit. It's pretty good. It's, it didn't, it, a it's little like bit. It's like those omelets in Tokyo. Did you go to Tokyo we eat just, omelets? We just got back from Tokyo nine days. Holy cow. Uh, took eight players for nine days to Tokyo. What do you do in and, Tokyo for nine days? Uh, camps and clinics and, uh, you know, humanitarian efforts. Uh, but we go down to breakfast every day. And omelets in America, very sizable. Over in Tokyo, they're like this big. So it's a little, it's a little it was a little different experience. Man, you smell that? I love, right? I love toasted almond, man. Yep. And now we're starting to get a little color. One thing I noticed, as soon as you start getting color, if you've got a hot pan, you can take the heat off at that point. Okay. Yeah, I learned the that hot on pan the, is going to continue to color it at that point. On the 80th time I made this recipe, I learned that little little tidbit. So it took you 79 times to yeah, figure that out? Exactly? It did, it did. Okay. You smell that though? This smells awesome. I'm a huge fan of the toasted. So you see the beautiful color? Mm -hmm. It looks like graham crackers now. That's exactly right. You know what I mean? So like anyone that's, that's checking this out, they think they're eating, and just like graham cracker crust, just like graham cracker crust, you're gonna add <laughs> melted butter. Yep. Pan's still hot, so grab that little bit of butter there. Okay. Toss that in there, it's gonna melt right away. We have a thing here too, you remember we were using it a minute ago? <laughs> Did you see the finger move? <laughs> it's probably not, <laughs> Almost. you probably shouldn't do that. I do wanna eat it, you know what I mean? Like, uh... <laughs> let me help you with that, coach. Appreciate that. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I thought there, I was there, a pro. Let me there, help you with that and then splash it on myself. Are there outtakes in this or is this the no, whole this show is, and outtakes? No, this is this it. The whole, the whole show, show is what okay. it is, right? So we got to get Kalen Reacts to, to evaluate this as well. I actually so had him on too, so right? he'll be perfect for this. Okay. Grab uh, the cin We have some cinnamon over there yep. that right. adds the color. This. You don't really need that, no. Okay. And uh, we got our sweetener there. So we don't, we're not using sugar today. Today we're using like a stevia. I know you've got some that you prefer. Yeah, the, the, the brand that I go with is Swerve. Which I've it never heard cool. of. I'm not gonna, it does right sound there. cool though, it's a great name. And it tastes delicious. So I also noticed, one of the things about your recipe here is it's literally enough for one or two, it said. Right, one yep. or two people. Yep. Which I also find fascinating because I've never in my life made a dessert for one or two people. Yep. Uh, does that mean your daughter doesn't get any dessert? She doesn't. My, she, she has the most boring one. She doesn't get any sweets. She's had what? she's two years old and has had zero chocolate you, in her entire life. She's on, had stop. three pieces. Of, my wife is completely organic with her, and so we're sitting there just. This just is. Killing. I just want to let everybody know this yeah. is what's wrong with America. Straight I think organic. Every kid should have chocolate. Like, how do yeah. you not? Not even dark chocolate. Like dark chocolate is good for you. Two years, she's not had a piece of chocolate in her entire life. I should have had her on the show just so I could feed her some chocolate. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Yeah. I don't even understand it. Okay, so we're gonna make mini. So that, and that does look that's like it. graham crackers. It looks exactly like graham crackers. Mm -hmm. And the butter, what's great about the butter is that it's gonna go in the fridge and that butter is gonna reset up. And zero sugar, zero carbs in that right there. Zero sugar, zero carbs. Yep. Which graham I guess crackers. is important for some people. Sure, for uh, some people, yes. <laughs> I, I like sugar, I like carbs, but you can tell. So I've got this mini pan here. I know it's huge because, again, I don't make for one or two people. <laughs> uh, and I like using cups just because it's easier to get it out. Okay. I don't know if this is how you normally do it. I just thought this would be a fun little, a fun little bonus. I believe we can get maybe five out of this. Does okay. that sound about right? Yep. And a little, maybe a tablespoon in each. Awesome. So. Um, I'm glad you're doing this instead of me because it'd be everywhere. I was doing well, then this. we might not get five. That's the thing about this one or two people. Yeah. You don't have any room for slop or air or, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yep. you leave Very a little efficient. bit in the bowl, you're kind of out of luck, aren't you? Everything we do in our organization is efficiency, so we're trying to That's be efficient with the important. desserts. 
well, as well. So you make this for the team? This, uh, maybe. Stuff? I know Coach Horton would probably love our, our uh, head nutritionist strength coach would probably love this. So I have to say, like, it totally goes against uh, what I think of as what you would eat. And I know this is the, the trend now, right? The sure. keto, The keto idea is very much the trend now. But uh, when I was coming up, and I'm sure when you were coming up, because I said we're pretty similar in age, help me press these down. Okay. You just want to push them down to the bottom there. Oh, I got you. Sports people would like carb load before a game, right? Like, yeah. Wasn't that a yeah, thing? That, like you that was eat thing. spaghetti the night that's, before? That's and not a thing anymore. We're not doing that anymore, nope, huh? Nope, It's amazing, uh, people don't. A little more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press that. Thank you, appreciate it. No, no, you're doing a great job. I don't yeah. want you to think you're not. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I just. Maybe I'll just give it a little, because you really want to press it all the, like, I know you got, I know you work out, mm -hmm. you know, you got some muscles in there, sure. right? So, uh, you should be able to press that literally all over the bottom. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so, what you're doing is you're, and I don't mean to make fun, I apologize. No, it's all good. But, uh, you really want it to be solid. You feel how that one is? Yeah. It's very, like, yep. pressed all the way in there? Because the butter is compacting into it, and that's what's going to actually cause it to set up. I can see Gordo's mouth watering right now as we do this. I'm sure. <laughs> We got Gordo, Cake Boss, Diablo. Here, it's gonna be a great day. So he's he, now he has to make this stuff because where are you gonna buy this during the season this year? This might be what you guys do on Tuesday nights. <laughs> Instead of Chocolate Cake Tuesday, it's gonna be Key Lime, key lime Pie. Key Lime Tuesday. Oh, they done. seem they seem okay with it. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we have sour cream. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, switch up here because we can. We got some sour cream, right? And we have, this is all fat. Like that's what the keto thing is. Yeah. For people that don't fully understand keto, uh, it's not an Atkins diet. No. I want to clarify. Uh, so the idea is, is that you're trying there, to get your, this in. is cream cheese. Yep. Right? Butter, cream, cheese, sour cream. Butter, cream, cheese, what, sour cream. Than it's that? literally all fat. Um, you're trying to avoid it. Do you, do you put Swerving it all in at it. once? Is that what you do? You put it all in at once? No, we should beat it first. Okay, Blend well then, then don't put it on. Yeah. I'm asking you, this is your thing, man. <laughs> Chappelle, the 170 times was an exaggeration, so. Was it? Yeah. It's 169? Sure. Um, so the, as I was saying, the keto thing is, it's, it's all fat and no carbs, right? And the idea is, is that your body, if I understand this correctly, because mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll correct me if I, if I say okay. it wrong. Uh, your body can get fuel from one of two ways. It can get fuel from carbs yep. or it can get fuel from fat. And by eliminating carbs, your body, because humans are very adaptable, yep. will switch over and start gathering its fuel from the fat. That's Correct? Exactly right. Yeah, that's the premise. So the idea is, is that if you get rid of carbs and you switch to a fat-based diet, that you don't hold the fat because... So educational. Right? That's the whole point, I'm even right? learning more even though I have been You don't doing hold the it. fat because yeah. the fat gets used as fuel because when you're eating a lot of carbs, you're still eating a lot of fat too. Mm -hmm. And your body's like, we'll go to the carbs instantly because right. it's easier. And it'll just leave the fat, yep. which then just stays on you. Mm -hmm. Right? So this helps you to be a little healthier. I've actually seen uh, one of the diets, and I would not, so I would not classify keto as a fad diet. I know a lot of people would look at it and they'd say, this is a fad, this is not going to last, whatever. Uh, I would think the Atkins is more of a fad diet. I think the keto, like you're literally changing the way you eat. Yeah. And this the is first, not the something first, you do for a week. The first two weeks was ridiculously painful. But after that, it's, it's become Well, once your body easily. gets used to that, yeah. I think that's what it, it just does what it does, right? Yeah. I mean. Now, Cake Ball still tries to bring chocolate cake to the office and, you know. So he's not, the, he's, he's not on it. He's not on it. He's still eating. But problems. he works out three hours a day. He should be working, obviously, but he works out three hours a day and is to be paid, able to do is that. Is he hourly? Is he paid by the hour? Is this? I don't think we really pay much at all. Oh, well, that's, today, that's perfect. So. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's doing it for the love of the game. Who who so doesn't? He, I heard you are too, right? He's temple made. He's temple tough. So anything he can do to help the program, that's what he does. Okay, so I've I've mixed this stuff up. Uh, it suggests actually whipping it, but I like to do everything on here by hand. Awesome. on this show i like the idea that anything we make here you don't have to have fancy equipment to make it right. home you can just make sure. it uh and it should set up so and the viewers probably appreciate that i didn't have to do that at all because i would have messed that there actually was no they way don't appreciate that. it i want you to finish wrestling <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, I just do what you just did so, uh, that's easy just stir it up right so what pal are you impressed pretty impressive a lot of uh no baked cheesecakes typically have gelatin in it yeah this does not no 
Um, so for people that are vegetarian, gelatin is actually made from pork. Okay. So if you're vegetarian, this is a good idea too, because you can kind of avoid that. Not vegan, obviously we have animal products here. Okay. Um, but what's happening is, is you've put butter in there and you're using lime juice. And they're yes. gonna do two different things. I'm gonna teach you a little bit here. Okay. Maybe I won't, maybe you know this already. I do not know this. So the lime juice is actually gonna help to coagulate some of the proteins in your animal fat that you have okay. in here from the, the sour cream and the cream cheese and that kind of stuff. It's gonna help coagulate that. Sure. And the butter, because it's soft now, is gonna go in the fridge also and help set up. So that okay. between the two of them, you're gonna end up uh, setting it up in the fridge. Awesome. Does that make sense? Yes. So when do we get to put the swerve on Put it all there? in, man. Perfect. Put it all in. We'll At swerve. This point, we're mixed, so we can put everything in. And we start it up again? Yeah, yeah, These yeah. These guys? It's, it is very difficult, I'm gonna tell and you, that is to the, mix that is the for key lime one zest. or two people. Yeah, that is key lime zest. And then this is the key lime and juice. And that is the juice. I was nice and didn't make you have to actually juice it and that stuff. <laughs> I appreciate that. Because that's the worst part, right? Yes. Now, on the same token, you want to get mixing quickly because you will start uh, getting like chunks from the coagulation of the... What? There we what? go. There we go. So just like a team, there's always... Uh, yep. Everybody has their, their place. Everybody has their positions to play, right? Yep. And right now, apparently, this is mine. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. How are you with a piping bag? Are you pretty good? Absolutely not. So that's perfect. Yeah. So today you get but to we'll use learn. One. We'll learn together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's grab a piping bag over there. Oh, one of these things? Yeah, there's two over here. That's okay. for later. We'll grab this other one first. I have no tip in this. I just wanted it to be, uh, you can set that one down. We'll grab that Fantastic. back in a second. This is always fun because uh, Using a piping bag, especially if you watch TV shows, you think it's super simple, and it's not quite as simple as you think. So I'm hoping when you yes. walk away from this, you you have a little bit more respect for me. I don't There's know. no because I've never done this. In the 173 times that I've made this recipe, I've you not just, done this. You just spin 100. <laughs> it's a different number every time. That's what's awesome about You notice that? Okay, yeah, yeah. good. In the 223 times that you've done this. Yes. Okay, so the key is you want to slide it off. Now, you can't lose okay. any of this stuff. Okay. you got to make sure, because we only got so much yep. here. So don't be wasting it, all right? Okay. And then you're gonna, are you left-handed, right-handed? Left-handed, so is Okay, this... so first thing you wanna do is with your other hand, you're gonna wanna twist this close. Okay. Otherwise, as soon as you squeeze, it's gonna start shooting Done. at the top, right? Okay. Perfect. And then just, <laughs> you missed you missed a little bit there. I don't know if you noticed that. There's a little I bit got on the thing. We don't I have any see. extra to spare, I'm not sure. We've got the spatulas, we could, we'll figure it out. <laughs> well, I'll just use my fingers like I did earlier. This is perfect. This is perfect. You still have. I'm going to go ahead and try to add a little bit here and see if I can straighten this out that. a little bit. This is. You did a great job, though. I mean, that's, thank you. Thank you. That's good. I mean, my my daughter can pipe like this too, but when she was two, I mean, but that's cool. You did a great job. See, so it literally makes those five tarts. How are you doing? Is this as much fun as you thought it would be? This is great. This is even better. This is great. Okay. So I do have a job that is 100% okay. for you. Okay. Put it in the fridge? No, we oh, can't do that, that yet. We're gonna okay. do that in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and make whipped cream. <coughs> you ever made okay. whipped cream? No. Like you just serve it like that? Well, I do the, the can and I just spray it on Doesn't there. Doesn't it have sugar in it? No, no, it does You've not. You've got non-sugar, yep. like what is it, Whole cream? Foods. Yeah, whatever. It's got swerve in it, I'm sure, so. Not everything, what does not have swerve in it? The best things have piece? swerve in it. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but I'm glad to hear that. Um, so we're using actual whipped cream, actual heavy cream. Okay. Um, and we'll use a little bit of this. Swerve. It's, it's powdered swerve. There's granulated swerve and there's powdered swerve. So I do this. Do you, you get paid every time you say it? You say I it like do. 17 I times. Do. I do. We have sponsorships with Swerve. I would like a sponsor. Can we I get a sponsorship? I'd like a sponsorship. Like, I mean, I'm actually, I could actually use it. There's You're just no saying way. the word for no reason. <laughs> There's no way I'm okay, doing so this Okay, so this is, this is okay. hysterical watching. No offense. Okay, yeah, please. I don't want you to, so when you're whipping cream by hand, it takes a lot of work. So one of the things I do is I'll actually lean it okay. so the cream will slide down, and I'll just go back and forth real okay. quick. Okay? And that it'll start to work. thicken up. Let's so try that. Let's see, see how it... Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to have it away from the... <laughs> I was trying to hide it. Why would you do that? That's perfect. It's just right. like the pros. Could you imagine a hundred years ago, like you had to make bread by, I had to make bread by hand. I, I would have needed to have been a football player to be a pastry chef back in the day. Every, when there's no machines, you know? Let me know if your arm's getting tired. Yeah, that's um, awful. What? Like that. <laughs> You're much more fun to watch do this. 
So it's See. again, it's difficult because we're making such a small amount. Sure. This is not. If I had more, it would be so much easier because it would actually kind of mix itself as you're doing this. So next year we'll do it with a larger batch. So you want to make like a keto key lime cheesecake for a hundred or something? We'll something do like, like the whole party. Yeah, we can team. do a whole party. Yeah. For, you know, when you win your next bowl game. Right? Yeah, perfect. That that sounds great. We could actually maybe I could shape it like something. I could yeah. like try to do like a I don't know a giant. Football. Uh, Football helmet or something. I don't know. Or maybe right. your head. I'll do your head. Yeah, no, that thing we're good. <laughs> Have you? Did you see the big cake last year at homecoming? No, probably not. Mm -hmm. Probably not. So we do a cake every year. I don't know if you knew about this. We do a cake every year. Okay. It's a gigantic cake for five thousand people. Sure. You're always busy, right then, or the I coach am. or whoever, yep. because it's yep. a homecoming game. You yep. obviously have things to do. Yep. Uh, I don't have any ideas for me to do though. Like, okay. This year, I'm trying to. So if you have any ideas, well, we've got the cake know. balls. So the cake balls could come over and help. Yeah, I mean, anybody that has that any ideas name. of, uh, like, is that, like, you've got a new That's logo an this year? Title. You've got a, but I'm saying, like, for the team, you have a, a logo or something this year that maybe we can go for that or do something fun. Perfect, we'll do that. <laughs> so we're like, about to pipe, we're, we're about, we're about to pipe again. We are. This will be super fun because okay. now we have to actually pipe. This is a decoration. So you're, okay. you're making a special cheesecake for a special someone. You're going to want this to look nice, a nice yes. little rosette. You're not going to want, like, a... Uh, poop emoji necessarily. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Let me do. Let me do one first, okay. and show you what what you what you're gonna have to do here. So, what you're gonna do is, and I'm right-handed, so you okay. just have to. Maybe you'll go in reverse. Sure. Something. I'm not sure how the left-handed part works, but you're gonna go down there and use your other hand to guide it, and just do a little circle, and then just break it off. Okay. Real simple. Okay. You ready for this? <laughs> Real simple. A little circle, and then that, oh break my, it off. That is beautiful. Are you kidding me right hey, now? I'm very coachable. I would literally hire you to make rosettes all day long. That. This is I a rosette. Even... Sounds very masculine what I'm doing right now. <laughs> does it? Are you right? Does that bother you? Or are you? No, like, I'm oh, good. Good. I'm confident in my masculinity. Perfect. That is seriously. This is. I, I would have thought I did that rosette. I'm not even gonna Fantastic. lie. That is amazing rosette. You're, this is your natural. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So, and then we have extra of the zest because, you know, if you're going to go fancy, you might as well sprinkle a little bit on. So. Phenomenal. Oop, thank you. Sprinkle a little bit on there. Man, don't get crazy. You know how tart that stuff is? I don't. <laughs> it's I've very only, strong. You don't need to put quite so much on I've only made this 181 times. 307 times. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this in the fridge because okay. it needs to set up at this point. We're talking like, you know, you're looking at my oven. That's not that's not a fridge. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know what a fridge looks like, but that's an oven. Right there. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like your oven probably in your house. I don't know. Maybe it does. You have a big oven like this? Or not that big. Not maybe half the size? So that's not an oven. No, that is an oven. That's that not is a fridge. An oven. Not, not a, fridge. a fridge. Got it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge. Be right back. All right, so uh, let's talk a little football. Sure, love it. I mean, I'm obviously I watch every football game right. that's ever played anywhere. You watch eight thousand of them, I heard. At least, at least, so. I actually watch very little football. Okay. No offense. I got you. It's all good. <laughs> Wasn't really my thing. My daughter played hockey, so okay. I, um, I like Great hockey. Sport. I like yeah. hockey. I like baseball. Right. Uh, but. Football's cool. I mean, sure. I'm, this is a great football town. We just got the Super Bowl yep. championship here in yep. Philly, and you guys won your bowl game. Yep. Uh, so what are we looking at this sure. year? Sure, so we won four out of the last five games last year. And, uh, you know, the, the younger guys, we had a small senior class. The younger guys that were playing a ton for us uh, about halfway through the season really stepped up into leadership positions, and they've carried that on, you know, throughout the off season, throughout spring ball. And now they're in summer weight training with our, with our strength coaches, so they're getting ready uh, to have a great, great year. So, any predictions? Like, what's our what's our record this year going to be? We're, we're <laughs> going to be really good, really good. So it all depends. A really the next, good record. The, the, the next two months will be the the months that really well, you're determine. You're really going to see yeah, what's so going we'll on. Know. Because um, it's the guys setting the tempo, setting the tone for what we're going to do. Because i got to say, that's the one thing I do notice about uh, football coaches and the teams. And stuff. Sure. There's so much work involved in it. Yeah, there is. Like, as a kid, yep. I used to think it was, like, just a game. Right. Like, I couldn't believe people got paid this much money to sure. run around and throw a ball back and yeah, forth. But, I mean, you're you're training now yep. for So the our, our, enti our entire team is here right now during summer school. Yeah. They're in both sessions of summer school working out. Uh, the true freshman that we just signed. Uh, the recruits are going to be here June 24th, yeah, so like then they her. get involved in the culture without the coaches around, because the coaches aren't here during the month of July. It's our players setting the culture, 
setting the way we do things in our program. Right. And I know they're going to do a great job to get these guys, you know, where we're supposed to be. Let me let me ask you a question. Sure. Uh, how do you how do you feel about coaching college? Love it. So uh, here, here's the, so I've been approached about coaching in the NFL before. Okay. I have zero desire to coach in the NFL because there it's not about it's just about X's and O's. It's just about football. Right here. We're getting to help these young men in a critical part of their life become better. You're making a difference. There's no doubt. And these guys are getting their degrees. Um, you know, a lot of them won't end up playing in the pros, but what they do the four years that they're with us will determine for a large part how much success they have in the future. So that, that, means, that means a lot to me. And I, I'll be honest, I, I wouldn't have thought that right. growing up, uh, but being especially around uh, Temple's football sure. program for the last 15 years or whatever right. even, I see that. I see how important yep. this is, and and it's not one of those programs where the coach is screaming at people all the time. Sure. Like you're you're trying to create yep. a great environment, men. great culture. You know what I mean? Like yep. you're you're teaching them responsibility. Sure. You're teaching them. There's things that you learn in this program that is not specifically football, sure. but also life related, yep. right? And then we are, and our team GPA. We just had a 3.02 team GPA. That's awesome. Which I've been in the SEC for the last seven years. If you're above a 2.5, you're having a parade. And our guys work so hard to get good grades. And that's why it makes me feel so confident about this season. Because if they're going to do so well in the classroom, they're going to do well on the football field too. Absolutely. And that's, uh, I mean, I know for me, I know, again, because we run the same life basically. That's no doubt. Uh, <laughs> when I get someone in that maybe maybe they started out as a dishwasher, they sure. started out as, and, and they want a chance to do something else and they come back here and, that opportunity to impart some of my knowledge on them right. and to show them. And it's not just, you know, how do you pipe a rosette like you just did, right. but everything else revolved around it. You know, you got to care for the other people that are on the team, sure. the other people that are back here working, to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Yep. You know, there's a lot There's a lot more to it. And there's no doubt. I'm a huge fan of that. Yep. Again, growing up, I didn't think it was that important, but as I get older, I find... There's no doubt. There's So all the wins and losses the, are going to fade away. Absolutely. But the impact you've had on young men's lives is going to carry on for generations. It. Yeah. I mean, to, to be honest, to be sure. fair, I've had people approach me years later uh, that have said, you know, you don't, I don't think you realize the impact you had. Blah, right. blah, blah. And, I'm, and I'm nobody. I'm just a pastry chef. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're touching a lot more lives than I am, but I know I had no idea. Right. I was just trying to be the best person I could yep. be and help them be the best people they are. And I'm sure that's yep. getting to know you right now. I feel like you're doing the mm -hmm. same thing. That resonates in our program. I think the cool thing is, I think that resonates at Temple University. I, I, I think would that's agree. part of the culture of this place that makes this special. I've been in a lot of different colleges, some really good ones, but just the culture of this university trying to help people achieve better in their lives, I think that permeates everything that we do I, on this and campus. And I, I think part of it's, uh, this is going to sound really stupid, but it's one thing I always come back to. Right. So I've helped out at a lot of universities. Okay. Again, I'm just going to take it back to my, my parallel life here. Right. But uh, I've helped out at a lot of universities. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> When I go to other universities to help out, mm -hmm. uh, the kids are whatever, they seem fairly self-absorbed. Sure. When I'm here, even if they don't know me, mm -hmm. they'll open the door for people. Yep. They'll, there's yep. so many things that happen at, like Temple really is a special mm -hmm. place. Yep. And then um, we, have a, we have a saying, you come down to our facility, when you walk into our building, this is an entitlement free zone. I think that's what this campus is. I, I, nobody, would, agree. I would agree. Nobody thinks they deserve anything. Everybody that comes to this university thinks that they have to earn and work and fight for the things that they're going to accomplish. And they should. And at the end of the day, their accomplishments are going to be much more meaningful. And I think that permeates in our culture at the football building and across this entire campus. Absolutely. So, side note. Yeah. Total side note here because you said you had a two-year-old. Yeah. <coughs> That's never had chocolate. That's never had chocolate, okay. which is already a problem. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overlook that okay. for a second. Um, my daughter, she's maybe when she was like two or three, uh, people used to get on my case because... I'm a terrible loser. I'm right. not a terrible loser. Sure. I'm a good loser. I don't care if I win or lose. Right. But I'm fairly competitive. And even with my two and three year old, if we're playing a game, I'm probably going to win. That's right. Are you that way at all? I got no, it, that, that building down there, the football building, is one of the most competitive environments that I've ever been a part of. And that permeates in every single thing, whether we're playing ping pong, just studying right. for a test, whatever it is. So it's fascinating. So as I watch my daughter grow, right. um, it used to bother her when she was young because okay. she wouldn't win. Right. Uh, but I would tell her, look, one day you're going to beat me because mm. you will. I'm not, I'm going to get older, slower, sure. whatever. Someday you're going to beat me at something. Right. And she has. Mm -hmm. 
and I told her it's gonna mean so much more because you earned that. Right. I didn't give it to you. That's I didn't right. just roll over. Yep. And sure enough, that happened one day, and I'm just thinking you're probably similar uh, in that kind of respect. That's exactly right. Yep. All right, so uh, I think that you have a guy I that do. his only real important job is to get cake. That's his number one job. He's the cake boss. He's the cake boss. And he so goes and gets cake. Can we send him to go get the cake out of the fridge? Because cake boss. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, there's no sense in having a cake boss if you don't right. send him to go get the stuff. And we brought some designated taste testers, too. And once you see Gordo, you'll know that he enjoys tasting the, the, the delicious food cake boss brings in. Well, what's going to happen if everything keto? Yeah, he's doing good. He's he's a fit fit dude. Awesome. Fit strong. Over, man. So this is this is the cake boss. Here it is. It's the cake boss. And then so, we brought Baker Dave. We brought some gifts for you, and your staff. Oh, nice. El Diablo, one of our equipment guys. El Diablo. What's some, his real name? I have no idea. Oh, we've perfect. been we've been together for four years. We were have together. No idea what his name is. Cano Survivors. I yes, say it right. Yes, Cano Survivors. Yes. So you get this is awesome. Official cheesesteaks, t-shirt, cheesesteaks, and uh. Football, that's what Philly does. I love it. And then we brought you some official Coach, Con oh, uh, Coach Collins. actual Coach Collins <laughs> camp. That's sweet. And you can buy more at Coach Collins camp. <laughs> and then we brought our resident taste tester, a former Temple football player. This is Gordo. But he's still here. He's still, yeah, we, we, keep, place, we, huh? keep, we keep yep. it in the family. All right, well, let's let's try these out and see see how we did, okay? Gordo, let's obviously. Pop out these little. Uh, obviously, you're first, Gordo. All right. These little cheesecakes. <laughs> Now we were in uh, Japan. Good thing there's five cheesecakes yeah, and yeah, five of us. Like I don't know what we would do. Couldn't have it better. We were in Tokyo, so instead of saying cheers over there, they say what is it, kung pai. So if they that say kung pai, so we got to. So we ready? Hold on, let's. He get already it. started, I think. Didn't? Oh uh, no, <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> Are you ready? Kung kung kung, kung pai. pai. Kung pai. <laughs> That's good king lamb pie. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Way better than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. You really taste the lime. Yeah. That's delicious. Well, thank you. Thank thanks you. Thanks for stopping by and sharing Pleasure. the recipe. This was amazing. Thank you for joining us here on Baker Day Presents. And a special thanks to Coach Collins for his delicious keto key lime pie cheesecake. Join us again next time on Baker Day Presents. And remember, every recipe has a story.